I have a new computer on my desk, the Alpha Centurion Nano. It was sent to me for testing by the manufacturer. So let's see now what it was. When the computer arrived, the package contained only the laptop, a power supply, and a US power cord. As I live in France, I had to find a replacement cable. So, depending on where you live, you might want to check that. Besides that minor issue, the computer worked straight out of the box. It came pre-installed with a modified version of Elementary OS, a simple-to-use Linux distribution based on Ubuntu. So, it will suit both new Linux users and more experienced ones. According to the manufacturer, all the recurrent drivers are part of the mainline Linux kernel, so you should be able to install any other Linux distribution of your choice. Speaking of the hardware, the laptop I got is built around an Intel Core i7 processor with 16GB of RAM, and it has both an SSD and a hard drive for storage. But other configurations are available on the vendor's website. With its small size and weight, a good battery autonomy and a nice aluminum case, I find it a perfect laptop to bring with me everywhere. But let's talk about the performances now. I will not make an exhaustive list of all available applications, since this is a Linux system and the list is virtually illimited. No need to say writing a report using the spreadsheet, editing a picture or simply browsing the web will not be an issue for a Centurion Nano. I'm a little bit less fan of video playing, since I've occasionally seen some cheering when playing HD videos directly from YouTube. I suspect this could be fixed by tuning the video driver parameters but this is not the main usage I have for a computer, so I didn't take the time to investigate that in depth. Concerning my daily work, I find the Centurion Nano very responding for GUI applications and blazing fast for compilation and other development tasks. And I had absolutely no issue running a web or database server in the background for testing purposes. If you want some figures, I ran a couple of benchmarks using the Foronix test suite. I'll let you sole judge of those results, but in my case, the Centurion Nano outperformed in almost every way my old Dell laptop, even if that later on the 4 cores i7 while well, the Centurion has only a two-course i7. As a conclusion, well, I'm personally pleased with that computer. Due to its small screen size, I initially considered it as a spare computer I would use only when traveling. But in fact, I realize now I use it more and more for my daily work. At such point, I'm now considering buying an external GPU I will connect to the Thunderbolt link to use it for video editing too. But that's another story. Finally, if you want more details about that laptop, take a look at my article on itsforce.com for a detailed review of the Centurion Nano. See you soon!